Hey everyone, my name is Mike and welcome back to Game of Thrones. In the last part we played as Mira Forrester where we met Queen Cersei for the first time and she kind of interrogated us a little bit on what's happening in the north with the Starks and where we stand. And she seemed quite pleased with what answers that we gave her and also with the Marjorie, the handmaid, we're the handmaiden to Marjorie and then um, we asked her to get Joffrey's help by putting like a good word in like protection of the crown on the Forrester family just so that way um, the Boltons can't come at us too hard. So we're going to resume now and now we're going to be playing as, I think his name's Geralt, Geralt and he's the guy who's heading towards the wall as a punishment for killing a couple of Boltons at his farm. So let's resume. So, he's supposed to be heading towards the wall as a punishment. To like hand it himself in. And there goes a the horse. Why were we not riding the horse? Seven hells. <laughs> okay, someone's in trouble. Fuck. Oh, that's Vingy. Did you know my ancestors wore the skins of their enemies as a coat? <gasps> He's the snow guy. I can't remember his first name. So we can we can sneak out. Um, what's the plan Not here? My best work, unfortunately. Let's I get suppose in. I have fallen out of practice. But he didn't make it easy. What with all that bloody noise. <laughs> Like a drowning cat. I thought he'd oh, it's never gone red. As my father likes to say, a naked man holds few secrets. But the flayed man, the flayed man holds none. Pity he didn't know your father was the warden of the north. He does now. Ramsey Snow, that's his name. <laughs> How much further is it to these foresters? Uh, a day, my lord. Two at most. What was that? The Lord? Shh! Listen! So he's heading towards House hey. Forrester. To kind of like punish. Hear that? The Forrester's on half behalf of the Boltons. I know I heard something. You've got to stay still. Stay still. Hope he doesn't see us or come too close. Look at that. Oh! Never mind. We've wasted enough time already. Who's this guy that they were fucking up right here? Um, okay, let's move forward. There's not I don't think there's much that we can do though to stop Ramsey right there. You no. Know, oh my god, it completely took him apart. It's a bit gruesome. Heading back to Forrester's house. We're playing as Ethan again, I guess. Here he is. Lord Ethan! As I was saying, you are young. And there are those within these walls who are uncertain of your leadership. But. 300 generations of Forester Lords stand behind you. Lord Gerhard the Tall, who founded our house, and your grandfather, Lord Thorin the Bold, who seized back the river valley from the White Hills. What did they call my father? Lord Gregor the Good. He was fair and wise, and courageous in battle. Why are you telling me this? To help you rule, Lord Ethan. These were your father's people to lead and protect, and now they're yours. 
Oh, Medusa's goody. father did not bear this responsibility alone. He and every forester lord before him chose one man whom they trusted above all others. The Lord Sentinel. Forester traditions demand that a new Lord Sentinel must be chosen. Is... Keep walking, you craven son of a whore. Move. Who's this? The Lord. We need his judgment. I've done nothing wrong. I was only trying to survive. Is he a deserter or something? Lord Ethan. Mist. Who is this man? Who is this man? Craven is a deserter and a thief. Yeah, deserter. This house is doomed. We all fucking know it. Quiet, thief. Eric was supposed to be guarding our weapons, but instead we caught him stealing them. Two shields and three spears. You stole from us. I feared for my life. Yes, my lord. I fled. We should all flee. It's not stealing if you're taking what's yours by right. He speaks it's truth. Life. I have a family to feed. They're not two coins to rub together since Lord Gregor left us to rot here. Where's our pay? Our share of bread and wine grows smaller every day. <laughs> Mate, stop it. <laughs> Lord Ethan, I know these words are hard, but they're honest. This house is falling. We'll never survive the coming winter. I feel bad for the guy. Most of us won't even live to see it. Let's give him some hope. We are in this together. You say that, but it won't be you who's starving come winter. Stop kicking him! Address him as Lord. Lord Ethan, you must decide the punishment. Lord Gregor always took a thief's fingers. Three of them. Now may not be the time for harsh punishment. The men are on edge as it the is. Men need to know they cannot do whatever the fuck they please. Their Lord will not permit it. You can send him to the war. Um, I'm not going to take his fingers. I will decide. I may decide. Fuck him. I may take his. Uh, send him to the war. If that's an option. You punish me. You'll be punishing an innocent man. It will be an injustice, my lord. Please, mm. my lord. My family depends on me. Do you know what? I've got um, not taking his fingers, sending him to the wall, showing mercy. You know, he didn't do that much of a big crime in my eyes, so I think we should show him some mercy. I'm I'm happy to do that, but it depends. If, you know, everyone else might be against my choice right here. Uh, should I set an example? I don't know. I'm going to show him mercy and see what happens. Our house tends to its people. See, this man is paid and his family is fed. Fuck, everyone hates me. Lord Ethan, you are truly a merciful and noble lord. My lord, this man is a criminal. Not that much of a criminal, though. A brazen though. thief. He's also a father trying to help his children after we failed him. I cannot punish a man for our negligence. You're rewarding a man who has no loyalty or honor. It's survival. Lord, we must speak about our gold reserves. Soon. My lord, I thank you for the mercy you've shown me. I will never forget my debt to you and to this house. I mean, I know they send people to the wall for stealing, like, cheese. So, kind of what he's done. It's not, not far off stealing cheese. But, I don't know. That was certainly unpleasant. But a lord must meet out punishment when it's due. Not just yourself, of course. You can weigh on any lord. It's a lord's duty, so I did it. You heard what the thief said. I expect this sort of thing will happen again. But a sentinel can help you in the face of disloyalty. You need someone you can trust by your side. Is he trying to kind of tell me that to someone employ him? Someone you can rely on, no matter the circumstance. Possessing wisdom and experience. Who do you think I should choose? <laughs> There are two capable men for the role. They both want the job, but neither thinks very highly of the other. How do I decide between them? 
talk to them. Solicit the opinion of people close to you. Here, the Bracer of the Sentinel. The Badge of Office. Tonight is your first small council meeting. It would be wise to bestow this Bracer upon your chosen Sentinel then, to show that you are decisive and in control of this house. Your Sentinel will wear this for all to see. I'll make the right choice as Sentinel. Come speak with me when you're ready to convene the small council, my lord. So it's a choice for the Sentinel job right here. It's a choice between good cop and bad cop. For those two guys, because they're complete opposites, aren't they? That guy's bad cop for sure. I don't really like him, to be honest. He keeps... He's too aggressive. This guy seems like he's got his head screwed on. So I probably will pick that other guy. The more gentle guy. What's this I can click at? Look at Mr... Oh, he's behind me. Okay, I thought it was myself. So we can go in the tower, we can talk to this guy. He, we're going to talk to him, aren't we, when... And let's just do a little bit of in recon. Let's talk to this guy and see... Just what his views are. Duncan. Yes, my lord. I have much to consider and face a difficult decision. Perhaps I can help. Your father often sought my counsel. Um, should we just ask him about... Yeah, let's ask him. As lord, I must name a sentinel. Of course. And if I may ask, who do you favor for the role? Perhaps I can share my insight. And talking can sometimes help you make a decision. Actually, I wanted to ask, why did you send Garrett away? Garrett. I did it for your own protection, my lord. Garrett had to go. By sending him away myself, I thought it would keep you blameless in the eyes of the White Hills. I only hope to give you an advantage. And I regret any action you disapprove of. That's a clever strategy. I do hope that's a good thing, my lord. Thank you, Duncan. I appreciate your advice. I'm at your service, my lord. See, I, I like this guy because when he sends Garrett, when he sent Garrett to the wall, he was very kind about it, and like Garrett just felt fully for it. And the other guy, I can imagine, he'd probably now, chop Garrett's. He probably should get, chop Garrett's hand off or his head just for being like doing what he was doing instead of giving him like a less aggressive punishment. Let's just talk Lord to him anyway. Up. Let's see what he says. Swing left. Barry. Wrong. I didn't know so dogs can hold swords. Word. Of course, my lord. Hmm. I have many decisions to make, and I wanted your advice. Let's just talk about the sentinel stuff first. I need to name a sentinel. Ah, you do. And it's good you came to me. I know this house, and everyone here knows me. They know I can hold the reins, or wield the sword in equal measure. I'm the man you need. And might I remind you, it was Duncan Tuttle who sent Garrett to the wall. He undermined your authority, and made you look weak to the White Hills. No. I would never do that to you. And if you pardon me saying so, I think your father would be proud. Duncan Tuttle is a good man. Aye, a fine man. Why is he? But he has no business being sentenced. He likes to talk. But now's the time for action. So, when will you declare your decision, my lord? Tonight, at the small council meeting. Very good. I trust your judgment, my lord. I mean, I know, like, they say nice guys finish last, but I think, like, the people can't... You need to let the people, like, in this, this um, village be cut happy, you know that? And with that guy in charge, like, being a sentinel, I can't imagine that being a good choice, for, in my opinion. So I'm going to pick that, um, Duncan, just because I like him. <laughs> so let's head over to this guy, let him know that we're ready to make a choice. Maester? Yes, Lord Ethan. Are you prepared to name your sentinel? I am. Yes, Maester. I'm ready. Very well. I will convene the small council at once. I mean, you've got to, you've got to make a choice here, and neither of them is like the, the the right choice. It's just a personal thing, I think, of opinion. And I'm just more comfortable with Duncan. 
He seems to have his head screwed on a lot better. You may sit. I believe Lord Ethan has reached his decision. Before I name my sentinel, I must tell you. Let's keep them both happy. Duncan, Royland, this house needs you both. But you can only choose one, my lord. Let him be on with it. Many thought either of you would make a fine sentinel, but I have made my decision. Duncan, da -da 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 -da. Duncan Tuttle, you will be my sentinel. Tuttle, this, this is reckless. Uh, fuck off. Lord Ethan has made his choice. I will not disappoint you, my lord. Better not. <laughs> now, sentinel, what do you have to report of Ramsay Snow? Our scouts say he's only a day's ride from here, with no time to waste. Who knows what he's capable of? We need to prepare for the worst. We can devise a plan to deal with him. The Boltons need our people to harvest the ironwood. Even the bastard Ramsay must understand that. He's not coming here to negotiate. We must answer with the sword. Mm. That's bloody suicide. You gamble with the lives of everyone within these walls. Ignore Sir Roiland. You named me Sentinel. I knew this would happen. He cannot be trusted. This is the bloody small council. Lord Ethan deserves to hear from all of us. Enough! Would my father have stood for this kind of bickering? Neither will I. <laughs> Sir Royland is clearly able and ready to take up arms, but the rest of our soldiers are not. We need to take a cunning approach. Diplomacy can be a sharper instrument than a sword. The Bolton sigil is a flayed man. Force is the only thing they understand. Gentlemen, please. You don't want to go to war. Thank the gods Mira has asked Lady Marjorie for her help. Yep. It's not too late for the Crown to intervene on our behalf. But we must have a plan if Mira's efforts are not successful. Yep. I trust Mira's judgment. I don't doubt she did everything within her power to help us. Mother, what do you recommend we do? We must give him whatever he wants and be done with it. It's too dangerous to do otherwise. Why not make an offering for peace, my lord? Yeah, the wisdom of the Citadel. We can give the Boltons ironwood in exchange for their protection. You must be mad. It's pure folly to just give away the only currency we have to bargain with. Enough! We're really short on time for getting this um, raven from King's Landing, if it even does go through with Joffrey's choice. Of giving us protection. So we've got three choices here. We can use diplomacy, we can bargain, or we can fight. Uh, I don't know, you know, we're not fighting. Because that's the other guy's um, views. We will use diplomacy. I think I'm going to go with bargaining just because we do supply that iron wood, and, you know, that is quite a big deal from this, this um, house. So it's something you can only get from our house, I think. So let's just go with that. Because that's our strongest bar, you know, that's our strongest thing we can kind of like persuade them to be nice to us with. Maester or Tengrin has swayed me. We will offer the Boltons a share of the ironwood, and we will promise our people to harvest it, thus securing their safety. As Sentinel and Castellan, I must warn against this. You may do this for some gain now, but in the end, it will starve this house. If we don't, there may be no house forester at all. Yeah. We'll cross that bridge when we get to it. Fight, you're bound to lose when one breaks out. Ethan has made his opinion known, and you will respect his decision. Forgive us, my lord. We are, of course, here to serve you, as we served your father. Aye. Well then, let's decide how we shall set the stage for Ramsay's arrival. We could offer him the ironwood in the courtyard. My lord. Making this kind of offer outright may simply embolden Ramsay. There could be trouble, and all the house will be there to see it. Meet him in the hall. It will be more private, and he will not have an audience to play against you. Lord Ethan?
I think maybe, yeah, what that guy said about being indoors and let less of a crowd. Yeah. I will meet him in the Great Hall. A wise move, my lord. It's careless. Can't you see Tuttle is steering you wrong? That's enough, Roiland. Lord Ethan has given his command. How many years have I served this house? I cannot listen to that bloody idiot anymore. Forgive me, my lord, but you are not ready to be lord of this house. Mate. You're likely to get us all killed. Sit down. Sit down at once. I, I would not make a good lord at all, in reality. <laughs> Fuck, there's too much pressure. I think I've made bad choices, actually. Apologies, my son. But now that it is settled, we know what we must do. You will meet Ramsay Snow in the Great Hall. And we will offer the Ironwood, providing a safe future for this house. And don't worry, Lord Ethan. I will stand beside you, where your sentinel belongs. Then perhaps we should adjourn. We have to prepare the house. My lord, you have named your sentinel, but you still seem conflicted. And no matter what, you can't be indecisive. Not if you want to help this house. Forgive me. There will always be those who question your leadership. Which is why you need allies you can rely on. Family. Mira has done everything she can in King's Landing, but there are others who can help us. What about your brother, Asher? You want to bring him back? He's a skilled fighter. But what's more, he has the will to fight. A hunger for it. He always protected you and your sister. And we need all the help we can get. Why would you bring him back after you exiled him? He exiled himself. He has no desire to rule. Asher is volatile. But that is his strength too. Do you remember the Miller's boy? How he tormented you? I wanted to intervene, but your father said Ethan must fight his own battles. But when Asher saw it, he didn't take a breath. He grabbed the Miller's boy by the neck. That was his first instinct. Asher knocked out half the poor boy's teeth. Of course, your father was furious. But you were in danger, and there was nothing else Asher needed to know. Asher does not hesitate. He acts, and we need that. You have many fine qualities. But you do not have that anger inside you. Oh, fuck. It's something we could use. Asher is dangerous and unpredictable. His presence could help or hurt. Having another sword at your side always helps. Especially now. God, yeah. Have him by my side, but not him, like, knocking Ramsay's teeth out, because that's not going to end well, is it? I'm trying to do what's best for this family. What this family needs. Ethan, let me send Malcolm to Essos. Go on, go and get him. Fine. Malcolm will go to Essos and bring Asher back. Will he get back Thank in time, you, though? Ethan. It's like a day's I'm glad ride away, you isn't he? Let me do this. Know that you never stand alone. You are a forester. Mira stands with us, and she may be able to help us yet. Oh, we've got so many different things that we're like hoping for. Alright, guys. Looks like we're gonna be going back to King's Landing there with Mira. Maybe find out if um, Joffrey will help us out and give us protection of the crown. So thanks for watching guys and see you next time. Bye!